So you'd be amazed sometimes by just taking a couple of dollars off an item, how it can turn an item that is just sitting into a sale. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm Steve and I am a reseller. I go to thrift stores and buy things to flip for profit on eBay, Poshmark. So today's video, first I'm going to show you what sold last night. I got 11 items to go out, so I'm going to pack them up. If you're a new reseller, I'm going to show you how things get shipped and certain packaging to use. I got some first class and I got some priority items. Then I'm going to show you what I picked up this morning at the Google Bins. I got some real interesting items that I found and they should be good things that you can look for and make yourself some money. So last night, as I do every couple of weeks, I went on my phone on eBay and I sent offers to buyers. I believe it used to be called send offer to watchers. And just took a couple of dollars off some items that had been sitting and within like 20, 30 minutes, I had five sales come in. So if you're new to eBay and you don't know how to send offers, just log into your account on your cell phone. And when you go to your main page, you want to hit the selling. And then it's going to bring you to your column where it's going to show you your 90 day total, your active, your solds, etc. And you'll see right below that, you're going to see one that says send offer to buyers. It's going to have a number of items. If you tap that, it's going to bring up a whole list that you can scroll through. You just hit the big blue send offer. It opens up a box. You type in the price you want and you send that offer out. It's a good way. It's easy to take off a couple of dollars. And as long as you have good margins, you can still make money and it's going to generate sales. So first item going out that was purchased by sending an offer is this new tag. The brand is called Head. It's a women's skirt. I had it listed for like $12.75. I sent that offer for $10. Bucks. Sold right away. And clothing, I put all my stuff into suffocation bags, little plastic bags, and then 12 by 9 vinyl poly mailer. These are not free, you have to purchase these. But if you sell clothing, like t-shirts, anything lightweight, under a pound, these are great to have. Alright, packaging's up, it weighs 8.4 ounces, you always round up, so it's going to be 9 ounces, which is first class. This item that's sold by sending an offer is this North Face men's hiking pants, like a lightweight cargo pant. I had these listed for $15.75 plus ship, sent out an offer for $12.75, and they sold. And these weigh 14 ounces, and I'm going to put them in the same poly bag as I did the other one. And with the bag, it weighs 14.2 ounces, so I round up to 15 ounces, still first class. Next item that went out from offer is going to be these True Religion Billy Jeans. These were listed for $27 or $28.75. I sent out an offer for $24 and they sold. And these again in the plastic bag. And all my jeans I put into a priority padded flat rate envelope because it is over a pound, so it goes priority. All right, next item going out from offers is a mistake on my part. I did it, I think it was in my last video when I said I did it, where the one on my keyboard, and I got a new computer that's only like eight months old. For some reason, when I hit 1-1, one, one, it only accepted a 1. So I tried to send out an offer for $11. I ended up sending out an offer for a dollar and didn't realize it until it sold. It's a little six packs of Maxell tapes, cassettes, blank. So it sold for a dollar plus shipping. I'm not going to cancel. I'm going to honor it. I'm not going to lose money. I only paid a dollar for it. So it's going to be a break-even situation. And for the tapes, I just put it into a little eBay padded envelope. Next item that's sold from sending out an offer is this little vintage picture frame. Pretty cool. I found this at the Goodwill Bins. Probably cost me nothing. It's like four ounces. So free, maybe to 50 cents at most. Pretty cool pattern on it. Got like a gold and beige. And it's got a picture of a lady in it, which is pretty neat. It's one of these fold-out stand-up ones in the back. Listed it for $14.75. Sent out an offer for $12 and it's sold. And for this, I'm going to put in a little plastic bag, put a little bubble wrap around it, and I could probably get away with sticking it in a bubble envelope, but these older ones, they have real glass, and it's probably a fragile glass, not like nowadays. So I'm going to put it into this eBay 6x4x4 by by four box, and it still weighs only 8 ounces, which would be first class. All right, the next items going out were not from offers sent out. I did not send offers on these. First one is a Girl Scout vest with a bunch of, has like 40 patches on it find these at the bins often. In the past year, I've probably sold like five or six of these. Um, $14.75 it sold for. 
cost about a dollar. So when I see them, I do pick them up because I know they sell. So maybe I make 10 or 12 bucks on it. You know, and for a dollar buy at the bins, it's worth it to me. And again, into a 9 by 12 vinyl poly mailer, first class. The next item was from an offer. This is a men's Lululemon short sleeve button down shirt. This was listed, I think, for like $28.75. Sent out an offer for $25 and it sold. And this, again, into my clear suffocation bag, as always. If you're a new seller, you don't need to do this. This is just a personal choice that I use. To me, it gives it a better presentation when they open the package. A little more professional and it gives it a little more protection in case something happens and it sits out in the rain if it's in a box or whatever be the case. But if you're new and you don't want to incur the extra cost of buying these, they're not that much, but you don't have to do it. And again, this will go into a 9x12 vinyl mailer, first class. Next going out is a pair of Danskos. If you're unfamiliar with Dansko, here is the name and brand. See if you can see it. They're like a clog. I think, believe like a lot of nurses wear these. Often you'll see them like this patent leather different patterns and colors. These are kind of in like a paint splatter, you could say. And these are great condition on the soles. But one thing with dance goes that happens often, right around this edge here, you can see how the finish is peeled off. Because that's like a pattern, it's like a vinyl that they apply there. And I guess from the top of people's feet rubbing on that, you're often going to see that peeled off but it doesn't seem to affect the shoe at all. People don't mind. This sold. I did not send an offer on this. $26.75 plus shipping. And I'm going to put them into a plastic bag. And I'm going to see if I can fit them into a padded flat rate envelope. They fit into a padded flat rate envelope. Most shoes will. High end ones, I don't suggest doing it that way. If you have like nice leather dress shoes. But usually up to like a men's size 9. You know, sneakers or whatever. You can get in these cheaper way to go than boxing it up. Next item going out, not from offer, is this little JVC like video camera. Did not work. It turns on and functions, but there was nothing on the fold-out screen. Sold it for $14.75 for parts only. I will bag up, wrap it up with some bubble wrap, and um, see if I can fit into that 6x4x4 by four by four box as well. Next item going out is this Meekins clay machine. Sold without an offer for $34.75 plus 12 ship. And this is heavy. Put it on the scale. This weighs three pounds 14.6 ounce. So 315 is just under four pounds. And this I gotta see what's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna fit in a regional A, which would go at a two-pound rate. I could try to do box in a bag and see what that cost me. It's already boxed up. I just open up the box, wrap the stuff up inside a little so it doesn't shake around, and um, see if that works from Pirate Ship. Just to show you the power of sending offers, earlier in the video, when I popped up on the screen showing you how to send the offer and I was voiceovering it and walking you through it, and I used these dance goes, and I actually sent an offer of 20 bucks out on these. Well, some countered back at 17. And I took it. A little low for dance goes, but I don't mind. I got them at the bins. Move them out. Cost me about two, three bucks. But that just shows you. I sent the offer, and while I was packing these up, they countered, and these sold. It's been like 20 minutes. All right, one more item going out is this Hanes Beefy Tee Single Stitch. It's an Earth Day 1995 t-shirt. Real colorful. Bunch of animals on it. This sold for $22 plus shipping. And this will go the same way, plastic bag, and in a vinyl mailer first class. All right, so we got 11 orders packed up. Total received was $279.67. That's including the shipping. I just estimated my buy cost for all these items to be about $16. So I'm going to do bulk shipping on 10 of the 11 items. I'm going to leave out that clay press because I want to Check a few options to see what would be best, whether certain type of priority or if I could get it boxed in a bag on pirate ship or 
maybe even FedEx because it's almost four pounds. But I'm going to go down the list and I'm going to lay things out in the order that they're on the list for bulk shipping. I'll lay them out in that order so there's no mix up and I can just go one by one by one with my labels. So we got Girl Scout vest, head skirt, North Face pants, JVC camera for parts only, True Religion, Earth Day t shirt, Max L tapes, Picture frame, Dance Go shoes, and the Lululemon shirt. I'm going to wait on the clay thing, and then the brown Dance Go and a t shirt has not been paid for yet. All right, all weights are entered. My total shipping cost is $55.52. And I do flat rate shipping, meaning I enter my own price. Like that vest, I put $4. The skirt, I put $4. The pants for cargo, I put 6 The camera, I put 8 And my total that I charged by putting my own rates and not doing calculated came out to $56. And it came out $55.52. Man, that's a pretty close one. But I didn't lose any money. Some days I might lose a couple bucks. Some days I make a couple. So I'm curious to see what I actually made from all this. So if I take my 279, which was the gross with shipping, times it by 0.875 which brings it close with managed payment fees, gives me 244. If I minus the 55, which what the shipping cost, that gives me 189. I estimated about $16 in a buy cost, so we minus that, that leaves me 173. Call it $170 net profit. Plus I still got those other dance goals and a t-shirt not paid for. That's gonna give me about another 15 to 20 bucks. So let's call it $185 profit on a Tuesday night into a Wednesday. I'll take that any day of the week. So for the clay machine, it's going to be real close to this bag, which is 15 by 12. And with Pirate Ship box in a bag, you always have to measure your bag before you put anything in it. And you can't go over 18 inches. So this is like the biggest bag I have for this situation. With the thickness of that box, it's going to be close. The dimensions of the box and do priority, it comes out to $18.40. FedEx home delivery is $12.59. By going pirate ship with Cubic, it's only $10.31. I lucked out and barely fit. I need a little bigger and it wouldn't have gone. So box in a bag, pirate ship, $10.31, cheapest way to go. I charged $12 shipping because I knew it was so heavy. So I'll make like a dollar. I don't like to make money on shipping. I try to be close as I know it's going to be. But that's a fair deal, and that is done. These little flaps that are sticking up, I could tape those down. But you, when you do your measurements for pirate ship, you got to do the bag before anything is in it. While I was doing the labels, another sale came in. It's a vintage Coliseum, University of Miami football jersey in black. Found this at the bins just last week. Sold for... 23.75 plus ship. It weighs 15 ounces and it'll go into another poly bag first class, just underweight. All right, finally done. 13 items packed and ready to go. My man already came early today, so I got to go to the post office when my son comes home. Um, one item pending is just a $10 t-shirt. And then I got 12 things that I picked up at the bins today. Some pretty cool, unique items you should want to see and um, keep an eye out for. Alright, now let's take a look at what I got at the bins this morning. I was there for about an hour and a half, almost two hours. Came out to seven pounds. It cost me $17. Everything went by weight except for one item. I'll show you at the end. It's a game and that cost three bucks. So the first item, by the naked eye, I do not see any kind of branding on it. It's just a bicycle seat. But there's no padding, it's just a hard plastic, but it's carbon fiber, which tells me that there was no padding on it. It's a carbon fiber finish. So if it was missing the padding, it would be just plain. So this should be some type of like cycling for like racing to keep it real lightweight, where they don't look for comfort on the seat. I don't know. I gotta look with a flashlight and see if there's any branding within the black, maybe real subtle. 
But this only weighs three ounces, so practically cost nothing. So I took a chance in it. Some bike seats I have sold before go for good money, but I'm not sure on this yet. Grab some hats. First one up is a Vans off the wall, checkered with pink. Zero wear on the inside, nice and clean. Snap on racing. A little dirty, this one needs a little clean, no big deal. Then these three are vintage. First one up, USS Iowa. Inside is perfect. Looks like it was never worn. And this is on a new era. Made in USA tag. A USS Lexington. Same thing, new era tag. Made in USA. Perfectly clean on the inside. And this one, and this one had a bunch of broken up foam inside. Which while I was at the bins, I scraped most of it out to save me the mess at home. And it's Space Shuttle. I looked it up, it's from the Challenger 7. So it's a snapback mesh trucker hat. It's got the Space Shuttle patch with all the names. It's going to need a spray starch to keep it stiff because, like I said, I took the foam out. And I don't expect to get much on those hats. Probably anywhere from $10 to $15 on each one. I found a Yugo Boss, which is a pretty good brand. Yugo Boss Golf, which I did not know they even had. So you can see the tag. Yugo Boss. Yugo Boss Golf. Just a plain black t-shirt. And it has Yugo Boss black embroidery on the short sleeve. Found a pair of Stonewash jeans. Stonewash jeans are a great vintage. These, the brand is called... Chick, but I looked them up, and as you can see on the screen, I had some decent comps. These are women's, high waisted. I figure I'll get about uh, 20 bucks from or so. All right, so the next pair is a pair of shorts that I found. As soon as I saw them, I knew they were vintage. I comped them, and I was very surprised. So just blue and green stripe, kind of like a short short. It is a lined swim trunk, but it's, got, it's like that high, heavy, it's like that heavy cotton material that they used to use back in the day. The brand is Janssen, made in USA. Next item up, at first glance, I thought it was for motorcycle racing, for a padded shirt, but it turns out it's called Planet Eclipse is the brand, and it is a padded, so you can see padded all the way around, front, and back, shoulders, and this is for paintball. Next item I got is a pair of Invert is the brand, and these are paintball pants. Very good condition, there's no holes, no tears, no paintball staining. Next item, now we all see Scrabble games, I see them all the time, various sizes and models and whatnot. But I saw this one and I was like, wow, this is huge. It says Deluxe Edition Scrabble Crossword Game, Cell Chow and Ritter Company. Made in the USA. The sides were taped. Now the box has little damage. It's ripped in the corner. And it's ripped in this corner and on the side. But it was taped shut. So I cut the tape and I opened it up. And I'm thinking this might be brand new. It had the, the foam little sheet here to cover the top. I don't see any kind of wear. So this is pretty crazy. This is brand new. Take it out and look. I didn't even look underneath in the soil. It's got the four boards. No, it was used because the scorecards are used. It's got a bag with all the wooden chips in a burgundy color. Oops. And it's got a whole bunch of the crossword. Let's see, it's got the instructions and scorecards. Yeah, you see the scorecards used. So this has been used. But this is from 1977. And comps are like $30, $40 range, I believe, on the used. And too bad because it's brand new. I think the comps were like $99. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.